A A Hello. I A A Hello. I A A Let's go. I A A Let's go. I A A Hello. I A A Hello. I A A Let's go. I A. And now it's time for Student of the Week. Our first grade student of the week for Miss Jackie's class is Sumina. Sumina is a talented and valued member of our classroom. She can be counted on to be respectful and is a good listener. She's also working very hard on her reading skills. Sumina likes to draw and I love seeing her creativity come through with art. Sumina, you brighten our days and we are thankful for all you do. Congratulations on being first grade student of the week. First grade student of the week for Mr. Leal's class is Sasha. Sasha's love of learning brightens our classroom. She is inquisitive, questing, resourceful, kind, creative, and courageous. She's also a fabulous teacher and helps Mr. Leal and her fellow scholars each and every day. Thank you, Sasha, just for being you, wonderful you, and congratulations on being student of the week. Second grade student of the week for Ms. Hubbard's class is Hamdi. Hamdi shows a quiet persistence every day. She's a serious learner who always tries her best. Hamdi pays attention to every detail and is precise as she works. She and a couple of classmates formed a committee to decide how we would celebrate the 100th day of school in our class. Hamdi was in charge of creating the coloring page. Well, the weather did not agree and instead we celebrated the 99th day of school. I was so surprised when I saw her going to the recycling bin with all the coloring pages she had made for her classmates until she asked if she could make a new design with a number 99 instead. Thank you for always trying your hardest, advocating for what you need and learning in the best way for you. I am impressed by you every day, Hamdi, and congratulations on being student of the week. Second grade student of the week for Ms. Rose's class is the whole class. I'm so fortunate and grateful to have such an outstanding, dynamic, thoughtful, and superbly rad class of second graders. They are the most flexible kids I know, rolling with the changes that this year has brought with ease and a determination to make the year great, no matter what. They make coming to school brighter, and I love the energetic and even absurd conversations, discussions, silly accent contests, and funny debates we have on a nearly daily basis. I love you all, and thank you for making my year so wonderful. Congratulations to all of the second graders in Ms. Rose's class and being student of the week. Third grade students of the week in Mr. Scott's class are his entire superstars. Give me an S-U-P-E-R-S-T-A-R-S. -E this week, our entire class has the honor. Way to go, superstars. The students that make up our classroom community have done such an excellent job being kind and respectful this school year, especially to one another. Each student in our class works so hard on a daily basis, and we, meaning all of your teachers, including Mr. Scott, are so proud of you. Thank you for your hard work, silliness, creativity, kindness, and support of one another. As Mr. M would say, to each one of you, you rock. Third grade student of the week in Mr. Whitman's class is Andrea. Andrea will represent our class as student of the week up in third grade. We have recently learned about the folk artist Clementine Hunter. Like Clementine, Andrea can often create beautiful art out of ordinary materials that can be found in the world around us. In fact, Andrea turns many items that would normally go into our recycle bin into creative treasures to share with others. Congratulations on being third grade student of the week, Andrea. Fourth grade student of the week in Mr. Mike's class is Mariamu. This week, we would like to recognize Mariamu as our student of the week. Mariamu brings creative energy to our classroom community. Mariamu is a passionate visual artist who enjoys exploring all mediums. Mariamu transfers her skills in an artist to her classwork as we explore different themes in our arts integration blocks. Thank you, Mariamu, for bringing your passion as an artist each day to help build a creative classroom. And congratulations on being fourth grade student of the week. Fourth grade students of the week for Mr. T's class is the whole class. What a school year it has been. Together, we have overcome so much adversity. Moving our classroom two times, working in a room with no space, wearing a mask, talking through deflector shields, and dealing with our anxiety during these crazy times. Through it all, you all have always been so positive, understanding, empathetic, and so full of fun. I really love being your teacher, so thank you for being who you are. Always just remember, everything is awesome. Everything is great when you're part of a team. Thank you, Mr. T, and congratulations to the class on being fourth grade students of the week. Fourth grade student of the week for Ms. Mary's class is Sifa. 
Sifa just started school a couple of weeks ago and is already an important part of our community. She is respectful and always tries her best. She helps her little sister to know what to do in school. Also, Sifa is brave. Even though she is just beginning to learn English, she raises her hand to answer questions in class. Congratulations, Sifa, on being fourth grade student of the week and welcome to IAA. Fifth grade student of the week in Mr. Courier's class is Naya. Naya has taught our class the definition of determination. Naya is determined to complete his work with quality in mind. He is determined to make his friends laugh. He is determined to make all people smile. He is determined to be a role model for classroom behavior. Naya is determined. Congratulations, Naya, on being determined to be fifth grade student of the week. Fifth grade student of the week in Ms. B's class is Habiba. Habiba is creative, focused, thoughtful, and hardworking. A perfect example is the wonderful book she created based on her report about New York. It has lots of details, it engages the reader, and she has thought about the images and design in a creative way. She brings this approach to all of her work, from solving math problems, to revising writing, to her colorful visual artwork. She takes pride in her work and it shows. Thank you for being a great role model and congratulations on being student of the week. Our staff of the week is Mr. Whitman. Ms. Cassie says, I appreciate Mr. Whitman's calm, humorous approach to teaching. He has created a safe, structured learning environment that is inclusive to all learners. I look forward to seeing him and being in his room every day. Thanks, Mr. Whitman, for always being fun and easy to work with. And congratulations on being our staff of the week. Hello, IAA, and welcome to Friday Town Meeting. This week, we're starting off with a video from Miss Alyssa, our teaching artist for the whole school residency of Creature Crawl. Miss Alyssa is also a glass blower, and she has participated in the project Glass-tastic with the Brattleboro Museum of Art. And in this project, kids from all over submit drawings of creatures just like we made for Creature Crawl, and then glass blowers from around the area have brought those images to life. So Miss Alyssa would like to share with all of us her creature that she worked on for Glass-tastic. So let's take a peek at Miss Alyssa's glass blowing. Thank you, Miss Alyssa, for sharing that fantastic video with us and sharing with us a little bit about that project, Glass-tastic. It was really amazing to see drawings come to life through the art form of glass blowing. So thank you. And next up, we have a celebration of learning coming from Miss Holly's kindergartners. Miss Holly's kindergartners have been learning all about kindness and what it looks like to be kind to others and what it feels like when people are kind to you and learning about kindness heroes through literature. So let's take a look at Kindness Week in kinder kindergarten. Sharing. 
I'm coming to the shop. And did you help him pick up his toys? Yes. I help people. Okay, perfect. Tell me about a time when someone was kind to you. When my brother let me play a video game with him. Once, um, when my brother wanted an apple and we were going apple orcharding and he couldn't get it, I grabbed it for my brother. Ew. My dad was kind when he got me a toy. Why well, made me a present and I made a present for why? Wait, start over. Okay, go. Katherine Johnson was being kind to the rocket ship that was maybe gonna die, but um, she saved it. Be um, she made a plan using math. On James, kind. Oh. He gives people shoes. He gives people shoes. What? Ray um, didn't give up. Because she really wanted to do something and people said that she couldn't. But she could. It turned out that she could. What did she want to do? She wanted to build a boat. When Ray Montecure, um was growing up, she had a mass, she had a brain with a mass. She had a math brain, and um, people said that she couldn't build a submarine, but she did it in just eight hours later. Um, I'm making a kindness chip and stapling these together. Mom's writing the words, and then. Um, kindergarten friends. Let's give them all a big round of applause for sharing with us all about kindness and for reminding us that we should stop and take the time to think about when others are kind to us and appreciating those moments. And speaking of kindness, I want to give a big shout out to so many of you who each morning when I open the door to let you into the building, stop and say, have a great day. It really fills my bucket, and I can't tell you how much joy it brings to me in the mornings when I open the door for all of you. So I hope that you all can stop and maybe think about passing on some kindness to others or thinking about when someone was kind to you. And one quick announcement about Magic Mailbox. This challenge is all about creating a six word poem about what makes IAA special. This might be something that you would want to work on over break. And it would be fantastic if we had some of you reciting your poem or you had a piece of artwork and you sprinkled the words throughout your artwork or you sang it or you danced your poem. We would love you to have fun with this and get creative. And remember, if you have something that is not written down and just can't fit in the mailbox, feel free to share it with me. An adult in the building can help you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And all submissions are due Friday, April 2nd. So you have some time and we would love to have lots of submissions about what makes IAA special. It is time for break. 
So I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful break and we'll see you in March. Thanks for coming to town meeting.